so I can understand that. Kamikaze likes to go black Yoshi, but wants the green team. All right, so, yep, Bowser Sheik, Yoshi Villager. Interesting. All right, and he's going to set up shop with that tree right away. Kamikaze going to hide behind it. Now, it seems like in this matchup, Bowser's... Sheik's going to want to do a lot of damage. Bowser can do that, too, but Bowser's going to have to do the most of the killing because Sheik, Sheik at, at kill percent it can be a rough rough go at it sometimes. Yes, and uh, Bowser's also... Oh, that might... No, okay. Yep, yep. Yeah, Villager can go pretty deep and doing a, doing a good helping on Bowser there. Yes, and also Bowser can be a good stock tanker, he being so big and hard to kill. That's what... Villager look... Getting, getting, getting Bowser off stage. No, knowing that he could, oh, looking, looking for it, nothing going. Being able to get that up B and and get a few damage on a, a potential stock, stock, try to get an edge guard there. All right, and Bowser spending a lot of time off stage, and that he needs to be careful. That tree is right. Oh wow, he uses the grab armor though. The up air. Okay, and uh, player one living by the skin of his teeth on that, that one. Good, a, good di. That was a di of the gods there from P1. Absolutely. Oh, that was really that was really bad DI on that back air though, but he still lives. The Sheik's back air being quite weak. P1 electing to stay was was like to stay downstage because want to try to get, find a better spot to come up to the stage, but it doesn't matter as P1 does take the kill there. Yes, and uh, unfortunately Phantom also killing his teammate with that, so probably a probably works out better for the green team right there as they still remain in the lead. Yeah. Yoshi City pretty at 134 right now, and he, he does does a nice DI there to stay on stay on the stage. Yoshi uh, being quite heavy, being weight. Oh my goodness! There he goes. Uh, interesting hit on the down on the up throw right there, and that takes out Kamikaze's first stock. He left the stage hard and left the stage fast there because we'll beat at 134. We'll do that to you. Absolutely. Okay, and well, can't land on that invincible up smash. Now the red team is really taking control of this game so far as the green team is trying to find some way to get in here. All right, and Bowser at 128 uh, needs to hold on to the stock as long as possible. Okay, wow, that was that was Ricci. Phantom going for the F smash and being punished for it with his life. He did, he did get the hardest of punishes there. Okay, forward air bouncing fish, not quite yet. And. And Bowser and and Phantom went in there with, with a with a rolling fortress, but still get did get some damage on the rocket on the rocket ship there from Villager, doing a quick da damage. Oh, looking for what a Sheik's only kill move on Villager, but but he does scrape by by the skin of his teeth. Okay, that was okay. Phantom is throwing out a lot of unsafe moves right now. Oh, that might. Okay, and the tr the Bowser bomb actually extinguished the tree. Oh no, and. Since player one was preoccupied getting that up smash on uh, Phantom, Jose JFB was able to just forward smash him for free. And player one's on his last stock. So three stocks apiece, but we do have Bowser. Okay, now two. No, no, no more share stock opportunities. Sheik's going to have to hold this stock for as long as she can. Never and, mind. Yep, no more share stock. And Bowser, they need to get rid of Bowser. That should be their first priority and make this a uh, much easier game. Uh, he can't re-grab. Okay, yep. There no, goes no Bowser, yep. And all on Jose here. As villagers gonna try to, villagers try to try to do all, all of his all of his area moves to, to do damage from afar, slingshot, rocket, all that jazz. Try to get him afar, and, and Kamikaze needs the one to be to try to get in, but but try but it looks to go with eggs instead. No, well, Jose. Uh, the thing about Sheik is Sheik doesn't really have anything she can cheese you with and kill you at 60. It's all about just getting just getting all yeah. just chipping away constantly until you build up enough damage to yeah. get a hard read on bouncing fish, but. And a 2v1, easier said than done. Yeah, it is. And and like you said, she she has to do a lot of damage before she can get there. So this is an even rougher spot for her because she has a long way to go unless she gets a cheesy offstage kill. And I think both these players are smart enough not to fall for anything like that. Nope. Okay, well, Bouncing Fish over the grab, but get punished. Looking for Bouncing Fish, nothing going. All right, if he can get a diamond cutter up smash on one of them, he might be able to kill it. Maybe Villager, but Yoshi might be a little too heavy. All right, yeah, maybe Yoshi would Yoshi. definitely be far too heavy. All right, 92%. Okay, maybe now he could get him. Okay, but no. Nope. Wow, okay, good DI. Okay, And yeah. the Randy up smash. That was a really, 
that was really hard to get out of. That was a trap. The tree was at the ledge, and uh, Kamikaze was there to cover the jump on and the roll. So he was kind of, he was basically uh, kind of cornered right there. And just pick your poison, and he picked the jump on into up smash. Now, does Jose have any other characters? Yes, he does have a Marth. He, he has a Marth, a Marth and a Captain Falcon. Oh, okay. Yeah, so I don't know if we'll see those. Though I don't think uh, the character was the problem. I think if he just adjusts, then they did have the right game plan going in. Yes. I, I did think they may have just gotten over un overplayed, just outplayed just a little bit. I do think, I do think Phantom. He was being really unsafe. He was th he was throwing out a lot of down smashes and a lot of uh, forward smash. He was throwing out a lot of unsafe yeah. moves. So he needs to be a lot safer. Mm -hmm. I didn't hear a character change, so I think we're everyone is staying the same. Yep. All right. So if they do go down 2-0, we might see Jose switch. Or we might see Kamikaze. No, wait. Kamikaze is on the winning team. What am I yeah. saying? <laughs> We're going right back in here looking for looking for Nair. Nothing going. Rolling Fortress a ver is a, a very powerful pull tool used by Bowser here. But Bowser is off stage, And Villager going to try to get something going on him. Okay. And nice edge guard going here, but Bowser's going to find himself way back on the stage. Yes. But still a lot of damage player one got there. Yeah, he did get quite a bit of damage. He is sitting at 117. 132. One okay. Oh, oh, no. Okay. 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 Kam uh, Kamikaze, Phantom. he knew the timing. Phantom's like, okay, I'm probably going to die soon, but if I'm going to die soon, I want to take you with me. And, and, and he did. And Kamikaze almost got back. You can – um. Apparently, there's a timing you can get where you can jump out of uh, the bows, the Koopa Claw, and Kamikaze got it. He jumped out at the last second, but he doesn't. He didn't have enough uh, vertical recovery to get back to the stage. Yeah. And in case you're in case you're unaware, Villager Player One is sitting here at 53%, being the perfect stock tank for Yoshi. And as Yoshi, Yoshi could probably try to find a way to get in here. And Villager can again use those, use that slingshot, use that rocket to do as much damage as possible. Yes, but a rolling fortress from Bowser gets gets Villager off stage, but he's still in a good spot. All right, okay, getting them both with a down air, good stuff. And uh, Nair to forward air. Oh no, bad position. Okay, but I thought Phantom might uh, go for the back air to get Kamikaze off into the blast zone, but he elected to recover safely just in case. Oh, this is dangerous. Oh the, wow! Oh, that was a perfect air dodge. That was, it was, and it's it it, it sa and it saved a life there too. As fan as Phantom, definitely needs to get some sort of damage going. Yoshi is a, is down to one stock, but Villager again that perfect stank top ta stock tank. Stock tank. Yeah. I can't talk today, guys. I apologize. Final round's just too hype, and it's and he's doing the perfect job for for his teammate right now. Oh, but wow. down he goes. And Phil and uh, player one SD. Finally losing that stock, but he still does. He's still he's still in a good spot to help his teammate as much as he can. As as if if you would have a lead, technically be red team, but in, in reality, green team may have a slight upper hand here with with a five percent with a five percent player with two stocks. Absolutely, and Bowser. How also they also have two stocks, but both of them uh, breathe on them and they're dead basically. Yeah. Okay, and Sheik living somehow. Oh, that's it. That's it. Bowser at one, Sheik at two. They need to kill Sheik soon, and there goes Sheik. And uh, dying by his own teammate's hand right there. Not good, not what you want to see. No, not 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 a good spot there that we need to see. Okay, and again, uh, the Randy. Oh, wow, but he gets the up smash. And this uh, now looking interesting. Uh, so now player one's going to have to do uh, more of that stock tanking for his partner if because he is at the highest percent on the field, and he is on his last stock. Both, both players trying to find some sort of gr ground, ground on the stage, but Bowser is off. Okay, and Bowser. Oh, no, this is dangerous. Red team back on the stage, and, you get, and, and Villager again using a rock to try to get in there and cause some sort of, some sort of damage and or chaos, whichever comes first. Oh, wow, oh, Jose, the tree. Jose rolled right into that. He's lucky that he wasn't high enough for that to take a stock. Okay, and again, Photos Phantom just with the rogue Bowser bomb, and that was an easy punish for Kamikaze. Looking, looking, looking for a, for an up smash there. All right, the tree is in play, but player one being too far away. Okay, now it is out of play. P1 going to this side, but a bouncing fish 
long distance for P1, but P1 stays alive. Jose can still, uh, he might be able to do this if he can, they are both at really high yeah. percent. Th this, is a, this is a better spot for him than the first game because of that percentage percentage space, because in the first game they were like at 30 and 50, this game they're near kill percent. Absolutely. Especially for Sheik, where he need, where he needs so desperately to get them to kill percent, oh, but that is, really bad DI. disregard that last sentence as, as Yoshi and and Villager, Kamikaze and, Kamikaze and P1 take game two as we are going to go right here to game three soon. Now, is this a spot where you, you can see a, a character change? I believe it should be. Possibly. Um, we might. Okay, I see someone hovering. Okay, we're going to see. Okay, I think player one switched, uh, interestingly enough. So, let's see where we're going. Well, we, we, we have a final round backdrop well, now, guys. We, we, we really we have we we're, we're extremely esports here. Yeah. All right, so I'm going to assume he wanted to switch because of the stage. He likes Diddy on Battlefield in doubles more so than um, Villager. But other than that, no character switches. We don't see any character switches from uh, Red Team. That, that's, that's, that's the him I expected a character switch from, but I guess they are more comfortable and chic on this matchup and this stage. They have been close games, so if they can just figure something out, yeah. then they can definitely uh, take three straight. Yeah, they definitely can. As, as Diddy gets himself right in there with his forward B. And, and Bowser off stage again. But Bowser, it, it seems like Phantom has found himself more off stage than on, and, and Bowser to be successful needs to be on stage. Oh, absolutely. He. Uh, oh wow, and uh, Kamigazi's first stock is gone. So red team faring a lot better right now than previous games. Oh my goodness, that was unfortunate. Some friendly fire right there. Uh, and and an, and an uh, attempted edge guard. Let's see if it can. But no rolling forge. Need to be aware of rolling forge when it's coming back up to the stage, as it will do quite a bit of damage on you if if you if you were not wary of it. Absolutely. And all right, now we do have four stocks to five. We have a player, the green team, up by quite a bit. Definitely definitely going right back into it here. D did he go going for it? But Bowser needs to get to the middle of the stage and needs, needs to get there soon, but he does get that up, up smash a little bit. Oh, wow, going to the other side yeah. of the stage. Good stuff. He, he, he didn't. He did, and not rightfully so, did not want to challenge Bowser Bowser on that edge guard. Absolutely not. And he saw the other side of the stage. Hey, there's no one over there. I'll just go over there. Yes. The road less traveled is always the one is always the most fun one to take. Absolutely. And of and still a pretty even game, but but P1 showing showing his medal here again in game three as as he is at one percent and and doing that great stock tanking yet again and. The, and the shield, and the and rolling forge just gets through the shields. Yes, and we do have his partner is at one. Oh, now his partner is dead now. All right, and Bowser being too fat to die to that down down tilt up smash. So the switch to Diddy not really paying dividends right now for the red team, and he's just not getting hit by those rolling fortresses. Okay, and uh, right there, Kamikaze was trying to go for a ground pound but uh, Jose had it scoped out just hit him with the forward air to looking get him for out of back it. air back air would have definitely caused quite a bit of damage on Yoshi wouldn't have got the kill but would have gotten him in a worse situation okay and, and Bowser is down and she get 158 definitely not the spot that they wanted that they imagined themselves being in to win this game three absolutely not. oh okay they definitely need to oh wow what and player one Unfortunate right there, uh, missing the tech. Definitely very unfortunate, a missed tech that does, does not do well for you. Yes, and now he does not have a stock for Kamikaze to take should he lose his last That board. was an absolute gift for the red team. The red, they, if, 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 if the green team, if red wins this game, it, it may be because of that situation right there. They're very, very unfortunate. All right, so. We do have Bowser at kill percent. Uh, green team one. Oh, okay. that's yep, disgusting. That's all right, now tides have changed here. This is all of a sudden looking very difficult for um, Jose. Now he can get a kill on Yoshi, and he's going for it right now, but he's going to have to do a lot of work on Diddy. Yes, uh, player one still ba basically having a fresh stock on him. Yeah. Looking for Nair, nothing going. 
And then this should, if do should they hold on to win this, uh, this will catapult them into a winner's finals to top three. All right, in the up air. Up air, nothing going. As, as Zidi's caused separation, there's a little bit of separation. He's going to get some sort of damage on Diddy while Yoshi tries to get back to the stage. Oh. L looking for the confirmed combo. Nothing going there. Just falling out of the... Oh, that's it. Oh, no, wow. Magnets. He makes it back. And not, not a good spot. Needs to get it back to the stage soon and, and cause, again, some sort of separation. But that should do it as game three and the match go to Kamikaze and player one. Just good, good overall play. Uh, 